Bob Tyndall. I'm Managing Director of Dimensions UK, uh, which supports about over 3,000 people uh, with uh, learning disabilities and autism and employs about 6,000 people to do that job. People do feel very strongly about this issue and it's an issue they don't always find very easy to deal with. So that's why we got involved. If they struggle, sometimes they struggle because their own experience of death is difficult, which is not unusual. Uh, sometimes they struggle because they are experiencing it for the first time. Uh, sometimes they struggle not with the process of dying itself, but the whole issue of informing people that they're dying or checking out that that person mm -hmm. realises. But as a society, we're not, we're not good at death, are we really? Mm -hmm. um, and you see that reflected in, in support staff. And I've come across so many amazing examples of fantastic dedication by support mm -hmm. staff who've gone way beyond what anybody would normally expect. Most uh, organisations supporting people with learning disabilities are now supporting people in their 40s and 50s in particular. Um, and therefore those people have ageing parents, so therefore the chances of a parent in particular rather than a sibling actually dying are relatively high actually. Mm -hmm. and. The people with learning disabilities themselves will there will be a whole spectrum of, of the degree to which they can understand what's going on. Um, and I think one of the fears that support staff have is actually uh, trying to communicate this in a way that can be understood because it's not an easy thing to do. Um, and they, some of them may be worried about the emotional consequences. They don't really want to cause somebody distress. And yet at the same time, they know that if they don't tell the person, that's not right mm -hmm. either. So it's a difficult scenario for them to deal with. Sometimes, and not all the time, family members sometimes don't want the person told, largely, obviously, for uh, very sort of um, benign reasons. They don't want the person upset, so they they ask for them not to be told. That puts support staff in a, a difficult position because that might conflict with what they think they're in the job for, which is to that people have a right to know. Mm -hmm. uh, the idea that people sometimes struggle with the uh, telling people is, uh, is to be understood, but we have a better grasp of that thing from the survey in terms of how many people struggle with that, what sort of proportion of people struggle with that. Um, uh, the views of family members, uh, the support people get in that situation, support staff get in that situation, uh, and the degree to which they've had some level of preparation. And the degree to which they've had some level of preparation was also higher than I thought, which is again is a positive. Mm. So I think we obviously have made some progress, mm. there's still an awful long way to go. Mm. Yeah.